Welcome to the Waffle Flower channel. This is Nicole and today I'm sharing a Boo Halloween shaker card featuring the brand new Boo stamp set and coordinating dies. This is a super fun stamp set created by Big Bear and Bird um, with the same kind of theme that you see from their other stamped images and it's just this darling bear on a broomstick. There's ghosts, there's bats, a spider, a spider web. It's just a fantastic stamp set. I'm going to start by building my background before I actually stamp any of the Boo images with the open moon shape from the Starry Night stamp set. To do this, I am going to use a Lacy Layers and a flower circles inverted die to kind of gauge where this is going to go. My shaker is actually all going to be inside this flower circles inverted type shape and that's going to help me gauge where I want that moon to go. The moon is going to be stamped on some Bristol Smooth cardstock using Versamark ink and heat setting with white embossing powder. This is all going to be on the inside of the shaker, the moon portion of this. In addition to the moon, I did stamp a couple of the stars. However, I think in the finished design, you can't really see them that well. Um, so I don't know that I would add those again. What I really wanted here was the moon shape. I wanted to be able to watercolor this so that when I go and add the little bear witch or the witch that's or the bear that's dressed as a witch I guess I want to say on its broomstick and add the ghost and the bats that I had this moon backdrop. This is kind of a non-traditional type Halloween card I guess I would say. Uh, the sky is going to be this nice dark blue against the moon and then everything else is very clean and simple. I'm sprinkling on that white embossing powder and I'm going to heat set this and then I'm going to take some awesome watercolors and a water brush pen and start watercoloring my background. I actually only need the space that's going to be filling that open window design. So just kind of, I would say about three quarters of the way around the moon is going to be colored. I don't have to do the whole background. Now I did pull out more colors than I actually ended up using. This dark blue is my very favorite. Then I'm also going to use a silver and a little touch of black here and there. But this dark blue is my very favorite. I like to use a water brush pen. You could use a paintbrush dipped in water as well. And when I first apply this, you can see it's super messy and really doesn't look all that nice. I like to concentrate the less watered down ink right around that shape that really highlights the moon nicely. And the embossing helps keep the color outside of the moon. You could definitely stamp this with a dye ink of some sort, like a black ink, and color it in if you have a little more control. I find that I am kind of messy, and I feel like I have better control if I emboss the image. I want to make sure that I go far enough around the moon here that there won't be any open spaces, and then I can go back with my darker, deeper color where it's more concentrated, a little less water, and add more color. Now I got a little dab of blue inside the line. You might see it there kind of along the right edge. That's actually going to be okay. I do want a tiny touch of color on the moon. I don't want it to be stark white. Um, I will be adding that silver to it, which really doesn't add a lot of color. It's going to add some sparkle. But when watered down with the blue, it will have a tiny hint of color around one edge, which allows for some nice shadowing. Between changing colors, you want to make sure and clean the tip of your brush really well. I'm going to pick up my silver and start coloring in this moon. Like I mentioned, very, very hard to see where I'm actually laying down the color because it's pretty much translucent. It's just a sparkly silver. There's where that little bit of blue went across the line and I'm blending it into the moon. 
Now to add some texture to the moon, I'm gonna pick up tiny little touches of black and add them to the moon. That's way too dark, but that's okay. I'm just gonna kind of keep squeezing out a little bit of water, picking up color, moving it around and adding texture. And this is going to create a really awesome look for the moon. In fact, I let this completely dry, came back about an hour or so later, and I really didn't like how it looked. It, you could really see some harsh lines. All I did was go back with my water brush pin, no paint at all, and kind of smoothed it out, and that worked perfectly. I have stamped the, the bear witch, the bats, a spider and a ghost from the Boo stamp set on some Nina smooth white cardstock using a black ink for Copic coloring. And I'm simply going to color in my images before die cutting them with the coordinating Boo dies. The bear is colored in E40, 43, 44, and 47. This is one of my favorite color combinations for critters. That E40 gives a nice little highlight area on the side of the bear. The pumpkin is YR15 and YR27. I love that he's holding a little pumpkin there at the front of his broomstick. The little leaf on the pumpkin is YG95. And then the broomstick is E31, 55, and 57. And I'll use a little bit of that YR15 for the bands that tie around the broomstick. So the broom itself is in all shades of all these colors. Then I'm gonna go back with E55 and 57 for the broomstick itself. I just love these big bear and bird images. I think they're really fun. I even think you could probably incorporate some of the other stamp sets from Big Bear and Bird for Waffle Flower and create an even bigger scene or maybe even a trifle car trifold card if you'd like. Anything that is colored quote unquote black is actually C5, 7, and 9. Building up to that black color with these three the bat that's kind of at a side angle, I ended up not using. So because I had already colored it, I went ahead and die cut it, and I'm just gonna slip it into my stamp pocket and save it for another card. I liked the bats with their wings open a little bit better just for this card. I think it's a better silhouette against the moon. The witch hat is B60, 63, and 66. Some nice light purples here. And then finally, my little ghost is gonna have some R00 for the cheeks, and then warm gray 00, one and three. Gives it a little shadowing, but doesn't add color. Now I am ready to stamp some of the rest of the components. Now I did die cut the frame of my shaker from a lacy layers and the flower circles inverted die. I also have a piece of transparency. So I'm gonna lay all of these out because I need to see where I want to stamp the spider web from the Boo stamp set. I know I want it on the acetate. I want it to be on the window, not inside the shaker. So I'm positioning it here using a Misty and I'll pick it up and then I can go ahead and remove my frame and just stamp that right here on the piece of acetate that I have layering over my background. And I'm gonna use some Stazon white ink for this. One of my favorite things to do with shakers is have components not only inside the shaker, but outside. And that often includes doing some stamping on the shaker window itself. It adds lots of dimension to the card. Now I thought I might wanna stamp another spider web, and really, this is a small window shaker. I thought it would be too overwhelming, so I went ahead and just kept it to the one. I'm gonna take the greeting from the Boo stamp set, which is Boo, and stamp that with black ink right there in the bottom right corner of the front of the shaker frame. 
I pretty much have all of my components now and I can start putting it all together. So here's everything kind of laid out, ready to be assembled. I'm going to take one of the bats for sure and adhere that over the moon on the inside of the shaker. So this is like what I was talking about where some of the components are gonna be on the inside. The bear and the ghost and the spider are all going to be on the front of the shaker, not on the inside. And I thought I might wanna put the other bat on the outside, but I end up putting it inside the shaker as well. I think it'll look better in there and I love how they look against the moon. They really do pop. A black glaze pen adds detail to eyes and noses. A little wink of Stella clear glitter brush pen on the bat wings gives them a little bit of glitter. I'm gonna go ahead and secure that circle, flower invert, circle invert, inverted frame, can't get that out, um, together, and then back that with that transparency piece. So this is the front of the shaker. I'm gonna double up foam adhesive and place this around all four sides, making sure that right around the window, it butts up right next to each other so that the shaker material doesn't escape. And I like to double it up and then trim it down to size. Frame it up and I'll just put that little extra piece there. So here's kind of what the window looks like. I will go ahead and attach the bear riding the broomstick. This is the largest image and you always wanna make sure you leave room for it. So there is the bear against the moon backdrop. Isn't that so cute? I just think that's really fun. And this is where I decided that the other bat really needed to be inside the shaker as well. I'm gonna secure the spider hanging down there from the top of the card. Add the ghost to the left of the frame. And I'm ready for a little shaker material. I like to use a powder tool to help kind of make the foam tape a little less sticky. I'm going to fill the shaker with some silver mini star confetti and some sparkling clear stars. Take the back to the shaker front and shake that up and the shaker has all of these awesome little stars inside which really lend itself well to the Halloween theme. Finally, I'm going to attach the shaker to a side fold card base, and that will finish up this Halloween shaker card featuring the Waffle Flower Boo stamps and dies. Thanks for joining me today for this Halloween shaker card. For more product information, please visit waffleflower.com. Follow us on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook for more creative ideas. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.